Kino no Tabi is a series that follows a traveler named Kino and her talking motorcycle named Hermes as they explore countries with unique cultures. Every episode is filled with thought-provoking socio-political commentary and is left ambiguous and open to interpretation on purpose. The emphasis of the anime is on human condition and inherent flawness of humans, and there are moral lessons to be learned from each episode. In this video, I will focus solely on the main philosophy of each episode, first by explaining the plot of an episode, and then explaining the philosophy on which the episode is based on according to my speculation. I strongly recommend not to watch this video if you haven't already seen the anime. If we all understood each other's pain, there would be no pain. This was the mindset of the country's scientists that made an epical invention to allow people to transmit their thoughts directly to one another telepathically. But it backfired and caused the fabric of society to be destroyed as even the smallest things people didn't like about each other succeeded in amplifying hatred on both sides. The main theme of this episode is based on qualia. When you say something is beautiful, you can't express exactly how beautiful you feel something is. This is called qualia in philosophy. Qualia is defined as individual instances of subjective and conscious experience. Because of qualia, when communicating our thoughts, words are imperfect and full of holes. Kino hunts and kills rabbits to help feed the starving travelers, but feels as if she didn't help them, rabbits wouldn't have to die. Hermes suggests that maybe she chose to save a human's life over a rabbit, because after all they are fellow humans. Kino argues that maybe she chose to help them because if similar circumstances were to befell her, she would like to be saved. As it turns out, these travelers are actually human traffickers, and they also try to kidnap Kino as well. The main philosophy of this episode is utilitarianism. Utilitarianism promotes actions that maximize happiness and well-being for the effect individuals, and it considers the interests of all humans equally, whether they are morally good or not. Utilitarianism also argues that human happiness should not come more strongly than happiness in the non-human animal world. Kino and Hermes visit a country where everyone believes that the world will end tomorrow according to the interpretation of the Book of Prophecies. Tomorrow comes but the world stands still. Kino then leaves and travels to the sad land, where a poet wrote a sad poem after his wife committed suicide. After his death, his poem was written down and a neighboring country acquired it, naming it the Book of Prophecies. Upon leaving the sad land, Kino is interrupted by an army from the land of prophecies about to invade the sad land. A soldier informs Kino that a new interpretation of the Book of Prophecies indicates that the sad land will be responsible for the end of the world. The main theme of this episode is philosophical interpretation. A philosophical interpretation is the assignment of meanings to various concepts, symbols, or objects under consideration. There are many types of conceptual interpretations. This episode mainly focuses on religious interpretation. Religious interpretation defines a section of religious-related studies where attention is given to aspects of perception. Religious symbolism and the self-image of all those who hold religious views have important bearing on how others perceive their particular belief system. This episode serves as the origin story of Kino. As it turns out, well before Kino became a traveler, she used to reside in the land of adults. This country is in solidarity with the idea of turning children into well-adjusted adults through brain surgery. Kino refuses to undergo the surgery of adulthood, and because of this, Kino's dad attempts to kill her in the name of cultural conservatism. The main theme of this episode is individualism. Individualism is the ideology that empathizes the moral worth of the individual while opposing external interferences upon one's own interest by society and its traditions. Individualism is often defined in contrast to totalitarianism and collectivism. Kino meets a railway trick polisher who's been working for 50 years. She shares a story with him and continues her journey. Soon after, she meets a railway trick demolisher who's been removing the same tracks the other worker has been polishing. Kino rides even further and is confronted by a railway track layer who has been laying the tracks demolished by the demolisher. On the second part of the episode, Kino visits a country where the citizens have abolished monarchy and formed a democracy ruled by majority votes. However, every minority opinion was met with execution. Because of this illiberal democracy, 
the country soon reverts back to oligarchy. First part of this episode is inspired by Tree Mercy, and the second part is a populist critique. In Indian philosophy, there are three gods or three forms as one called Tree Mercy: Brahma the creator, Vishnu the preserver, and Shiva the destroyer. These three form together the creation, maintenance, and destruction. Populism is a political approach that strives to appeal to ordinary people who feel that their concerns are disregarded by established elite groups. Some people support the idea that populism at its core rejects minority protection, and an unchecked democracy can lead to populist rule, and this can lead to oligarchic rule. Kino travels to a country similar to Roman Empire in social hierarchy structure and is held captive to participate in the Colosseum. The king of this country bears a striking resemblance to Loki of Norse mythology, portrayed as a schemer who cares only for shallow pleasures. Kino is victorious in the battle tournaments, and after killing the king, she proclaims a new law that promotes first-class citizen infighting and liberates the low-class citizens. As far as I can tell, there is no philosophical theme in this episode. If you think that there is, please comment down below. Kino and Hermes travel to a country where the inventors are measured by their ability to increase crop production. In this country, every technology that isn't about agriculture is considered meaningless. A citizen named Nimia builds an aircraft to fulfill her dream, but the chief issues an order to dismantle her aircraft. The institution structure of this country is based on neoludism. Neoludism is a philosophy that proscribes a lifestyle that abandons specific technologies because of its belief that this is the best prospect for the future. Neoludism calls for slowing or stopping the development of new technologies. Kino and Hermes visit the land of books only to find out that the ministry of this country bans the books that are considered harmful. A resistance group seeks to infiltrate the ministry through a secret passage that was discovered by an author who thinks that the reality is actually a fantasy and everyone is the main character of their own fantasy world. This episode is based on simulation hypothesis. The simulation hypothesis is the proposition that all of reality, including the earth and the universe, is in fact an artificial simulation. Kino stumbles upon a granny who claims to be a robot serving under a family. However, the granny suddenly dies, revealing that she was human. The family reveals to Kino that they are actually mechanical dolls created by the granny and that she suffered a brain trauma shortly after losing her family that made her convinced that she is a mechanical doll. The main philosophical theme of this episode is consciousness. Consciousness is awareness of internal and external existence. It's both the most familiar and the most mysterious aspect of our lives. Kino recalls people who she met on her travels, a woman who killed a man whom killed her fiancé, and a woman who believes in pacifism yet is accompanied by a man who kills to ensure her safety. In the second part, Hermes runs low on fuel and Kino has no choice other than to ask for spare fuel from the wise man who lives nearby. This wise man has lived his entire life as a homeless person devoted from desire. Going from his backstory, the wise man is undoubtedly inspired by Diogenes of Sinope. The wise man explains that his attitude towards life is the result of a cruel experiment conducted to erase his self consciousness in order to eradicate him from desire and criminal behavior. He searched for an answer to his condition for all of his life, but failed, eventually coming to the realization that there is no answer. This realization sends him to a spiritual crisis that awakes his emotions and desires. First part is based on yin and yang, and the second part is based on free will. Yin and yang is a concept of dualism, describing how seemingly opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary and interconnected, and how they may give rise to each other. Free will is the ability to choose between different possible courses of action unimpended. By taking away the wise man's violent impulses, the doctors also took a sense of freedom that makes him a human. Kino visits a self-proclaimed peaceful nation that solved the means of war by arranging a sport between the two rivalry nations. This sport, however, is to attack a defenseless tribal village nearby and the country who kills the most people is declared victorious. By waging a war this way, both of the countries ensure protection of their own people and are able to quench their aggression. After leaving the country, Kino is surrounded and attacked by the tribals who seek revenge but are incapable of taking it, as violence begets violence. 
The main theme of this episode is just war theory. Just war theory indicates that war, while terrible, is not always the worst option. Important responsibilities, undesirable outcomes, or preventable atrocities may justify war. The advanced civilizations featured in this episode believe that the terrible atrocities they commit is justified as their way of war ensures minimum casualties, prevents all out destruction, and that they have tried peaceful alternatives before, but it never worked. They believe that their intentions are just, and it's not the material gains that they sought after, but the protection of their own citizens. Kino visits a country where the travelers are bullied. However, to her surprise, the citizens of this country turn out to be friendly. Kino wants to stay longer than three days, but the country doesn't allow it. Kino reluctantly leaves and camps nearby. That evening, the land is engulfed in lava and is completely destroyed. Kino then reads a letter given to her, explaining that the citizens knew of their impending destruction, but decided not to leave the place that they loved. However, the children were not informed of their doom as their parents wanted to take them to the afterlife with them. The main theme of this episode is egoism. Egoism is an ethical theory that treats self-interest as the foundation of morality than one's own. The parents could have saved their kids' lives but acted selfishly and decided their fate on their behalf. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. There were so many more things that I would have liked to express about every episode, but I had to cut corners. Just like Kino, I also won't end my journey here, so make sure to subscribe for more future content. Thanks for watching.